How's it going everyone? This is Gordon here, Gordon Ramsey Gaming, and bringing you my current go-to Phase 1 Season of Discovery Gold Farm. And of course, you know me, I like to have the passive gold farms, or gold farms where you don't really have to have too much effort into the game. So this is a perfect gold farm where you can check back in every 30 minutes, an hour, whatever your time frame is, and get some gold for virtually absolutely no effort required. And you know that's what I'm all about here. So it's going to be, of course, the Black Fathom Depths clam farming as well as chess. So the big thing that you have to do is obviously you have to have a cleared Black Fathom Depths ID and you could utilize this technique as many times as you want as long as you have a cleared ID. If you have yet to clear an actual ID, I'm pretty sure you can actually just snag a Gildy's ID or someone in World Chat. If they've got a cleared ID, you could just say, hey, I need to get in there to either take care of some professions or just straight up say, I want your ID because I'm farming stuff and see if you can get an ID that way. It should be pretty easy. There's thousands of them open all the time. Essentially though, what it does is when the instance is cleared, all the bosses are cleared, the trash will totally reset after an hour, half an hour, and it's just left with an empty dungeon. However, the chests, the mining nodes, which can be silver or tin, as well as the clams respawn about every 30 minutes. And there's anywhere from around six to nine clams that you can gather. And then there's always two chests that you can gather. Sometimes they're locked. And I actually finally just now realized the strategy is to bring blacksmithing keys so you can open up any chest. And there are about eight silver each currently on the server, but you're definitely gonna make your money back opening up a chest if you get one green. Or even if you just get a gray weapon, you're gonna make that money back. So I would recommend coming in here with an empty inventory and then just a couple keys so you can gather literally every single thing here. So this first run, I'm just showing you the route that I took and I was learning it here. So it took me about nine minutes. I got it down to about six and a half, seven minutes per run. And after six runs, this is what I got total here. All right, so this is the total amount of loot that I got in six runs. And I actually got my time down to about six minutes per run, six to seven minutes per run. Stopped wasting time running in spots where I thought there might be something and there actually was just never anything there. So let's go ahead and show the bags here. We got six BOEs out of chests, and the clams actually dropped BOEs as well. I got these boots out of one of the clams. So five agility, five stamina leather boots. Pretty nasty, actually. There's better out there, but someone will probably buy these. So how much meat do we get? That's seven. We got nine <laughs> stacks of clam meat. I don't think it's worth anything at the moment. I'm pretty sure the price just absolutely tanked. Yeah, there's 61 copper each. But that's the second best stam spirit food in the game right now. This gets you six. And the only one better is Lion Steak, so a lot of people will still be using this in Raid. Let's go ahead and just look at some of the greens, see the value, if there is any. There's 34 silver there, 34 silver there. That's not really going to sell at all. There's a gold there, so call it about two gold in the greens right now. Huge boots, holy crud. Let's put them for 350 and see if those will sell. What about these pants? Those pants, never mind, were not from the... Uh, Dungeon. Here we have a belt. So, if we say these greens get us about a gold, and then the pants, or sorry, the boots as well, we're at about four gold, 50 silver. Then we could sell all of the other crafting mats. There's a couple silver there. Got a couple gold bars. Not too shabby there. Got some silk cloth. Could toss that up. Silver ore. Throw it up. Why not? And there you go. Now the big money. We got, I don't know if this is lucky or not. We got four pearls, you guys, and these right now, an hour ago, I should have sold them an hour ago before I'm making this video, they were five and a half gold, and now they're four gold, about five gold, actually, there's only one, and then the rest pumps that up to about five gold, so we got four of them. So in six runs, I'm going to make about 25, maybe 30 gold here, just because the price of, wow, it's already instantly selling. If the boots end up selling, and then say all the... Pearls sell for about five gold. We're about 25 to 30 gold in six runs. Takes, what, seven minutes-ish for each run. So this is just over half an hour of actual game time being played. And we're making 
30 gold, call it 25. Let's say I'm the lower end. So you're making almost 50 gold an hour doing this method. There's no harm to your character at all. It's strictly going and just rolling the dice, opening up some clamps, opening up some chests and seeing what you get. And I'll definitely put in some more runs and see, you know, the averages. I'll put it in the comments below, you know, if we have a dry spell or whatnot. But four pearls and six runs seems pretty good to me. And then you just log off, play another alt for 30 minutes, go do something, go shower, whatever. And then come back and just passively make gold. So we're going to go ahead and throw these out there. Look, it already got purchased. That that one that was for 450 or whatever it is got purchased already. So let's go ahead and put some... Let's go ahead and put some of these up. Oh, I'll actually do two of them. And then we'll undercut just a little bit. And we'll see. People are buying these because everybody needs them for the cloth boots. And they're currently the best boots in the game. So, you know, got to use it while it's here. But people always say, you know, the price is going to tank. It's been this price the entire week. And sometimes it goes higher than that, just depending on the supply. So we will see. But almost 50 gold an hour that's good by me i'm not gonna lie so here's just a quick little update of one run that i did this morning just to make sure that it was not nerfed we got 21 clam meat we got three tin ore no core stone i looted a six silver boot out of one of the clams there was an, a weapon crate so that's 17 and a half silver there got a mossy gate out of a chest and we got a pearl as well. You can see there, it is about five gold as well. So all of this is probably going to be worth about five and a half silver, or <laughs> silver gold for one run. So it's still very, very lucrative. And we're gonna go ahead and hop on the bank alt here and just see how much money we made from the six trips yesterday and see if everything sold. So just one quick tip. That character, my main, was dead for a reason because it's actually faster to get out of the dungeon if you actually end up getting yourself killed in the darkness where you have to have completed the epic crafting pattern quest chain to actually go there to not die. So if you want a quick warp out of the dungeon, you can just die to the darkness and it actually doesn't take durability damage off your armor as well. So let's go ahead and see here. We're at 5 gold, 75 silver. Let's just go ahead and auto loot everything, see what sold, see what didn't sell. And uh, yeah, we can see the money flying in here right now. So six runs got us 22 gold, 23 silver. And we sold a couple, I actually vendored a couple of the greens because they ended up not selling on the auction house last night as well. And let's see if we were to vendor these as well. It's another 25 silver or so. So made about 22 and a half gold for just over 30 minutes of work it's about 35 minutes ish of work so you could definitely say this is about a 40 gold per hour farm that is just strictly passive